So now we're um, he's lowering the putting the weight now back onto the walls just to see what the tension is like. This, they're going to um, start putting the dragon posts in now to straighten it up and uh, support the weight. So at this point now they're uh, measuring the height to the ground. So we've all been treated to an icy pot. <laughs> Even our chief construction engineer on the roof. <laughs> The cutting of the dragon posts using the traditional saw. The height is 3.6 metres from the underside of the hub to the ground. The 4 metres is now onto the top of the hub, so it has already been lowered 400 mil. It is made longer than needed so as it can be cut to length. The dragon post designs are made in relief using green bean powder. It's better than using plaster as it's uh, more stable, evidently. Here he's uh, cutting the dragon post. This guy can cut amazingly straight with his saw. It's so primitive but at the same time really effective. The fitting of the connecting bracket is really simple and they're just nailed to the top end in this fashion. The raising of the dragon posts to the underside of the hub. Here it is, uh, with a right angled bracket housed into the corner of the main member. Making sure that they are oriented correctly with the dragon head facing inwards each time. This is evidently to hold the energy inwards and also assisting the focusing of attention towards the centre. The honouring of the dragons is important as you can receive wealth and continued support. The block and tackle can now be removed along with the beam and the tripod. Complete the last few slats if needed to make the final adjustments. <laughs>